I mean, do you hear what people, what these experts are saying? They're saying that your hair loss is genetics. They are partially right. It is genetics, but it's epigenetics, which means that it's what you eat, it's your environment, it's what your father's, father ate, which you copied from, it's what your mother ate, which you learned from. All these foods and the environment you live in does cause your hair loss. So in one fact, it is genetics, but it's more correctly to say it's epigenetics. Now, the reason why you're losing your hair is not because your dad lost his hair. It's because the foods you're eating are highly acidic and it causes the body to become very acidic. And when the body becomes acidic, the body leaches calcium off um, other parts of the body, wherever it can get. This leads to the um, vessels getting um, smaller, so less blood flow to the scalp. And it also leads to um, the inability of the, 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 the hair to get enough blood so that it can grow. So in short, it, it is genetics, but it's false to say that because my dad was bald, I'm going to be bald as well. When you talk like that, you're putting um, your hair, you're not taking responsibility for your hair or your health. And you know, and it leads only one way, you, it gets worse and worse and worse. If you want to fix your hair, you have to start to learn how to eat the right kind of foods, which means you eat, it's organic vegetables and fruits raw. Um, you have to stop eating meat and dairy products, uh, or at least cut it down, because these are very, very um, mucus-forming and very acidic. And these foods in, in particular will cause you to lose your hair. So folks, uh, I'm here to share my, my ideas with you, and uh, if you have any, other qu any questions at all, please feel free to leave them be below.